worldview today. The Kremlin says President Vladimir Putin is reviewing U.S. and NATO responses to Russian demands, but warned there is little cause for optimism. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov adding the written responses contained no positive reaction to his country's demands. Tensions have escalated between Russia and the West as the Kremlin builds up its military presence along its border with Ukraine while conducting sweeping military drills. Meanwhile, European officials are reportedly scrambling to find backup energy supply in case of a Russian attack on Ukraine. The Wall Street Journal reports officials have been working closely with the U.S. to secure sources in case its natural gas pipeline from Russia faces disruption. The journal reports more than two dozen tankers are en route from the U.S. to Europe, while the EU has also reached out to Azerbaijan and Qatar to back up supply. North Korea filed two ballistic missiles overnight, marking the sixth time the country has test-fired weapons this month. South Korean officials say the short-range rockets were fired from the eastern town of Hamhung before landing in the water. Provocations from Pyongyang have escalated as the country's economy buckles under U.S. sanctions and COVID restrictions. Just last week, the North threatened to resume testing of its nuclear weapons and long-range missiles targeting the U.S. And Hong Kong is shortening one of the world's longest quarantine requirements based with growing pressure from international businesses. Travelers arriving in Hong Kong will now be required to quarantine for two weeks as opposed to the previous three. The new rules take effect next week and it comes amid an exodus from the city with multinational companies threatening to move their hubs to avoid long quarantine periods. The city has some of the lowest COVID infection rates in the world with China's zero COVID policy, but it has hurt the local economy with international flights to the city reduced by roughly 90%. Flight bans from eight countries, including the U.S., will remain in effect.